What happens when a seasoned legend underestimates an emerging star? Tarasi thought she had it all figured out, but the game that followed would leave everyone, including her, second-guessing her judgment. Kaitlin Clark was a powerhouse in women's college basketball, consistently dominating the court for four seasons. We're going to the national championship! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Yet, even with her phenomenal track record, doubts lingered as she prepared to step into the WNBA. Before being drafted by the Fever, Tarasi voiced these doubts in a memorable exchange. While on air with Scott Van Pelt, Tarasi was asked about the challenges Clark might face as she transitioned to the professional arena. After her response caught many by surprise, Tarasi cautioned. Look, SVP, um, <laughs> reality is coming. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's there's <laughs> levels to this thing, and that's just life. We all went through it. Of course. Um, and you see it on the NBA side, and you're going to see it on this side, where, you know, they, you look superhuman playing against 18-year-olds, but you're going to come with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Not saying that it's not going to translate, because when you're great at what you do, you're just going to get better. But there is going to be a transition period where you're going to have to give yourself some grace as a rookie. And and, uh, you know, it might take a little bit longer for some people. However, her comments weren't out of the ordinary. After all, rookies in any professional sport must navigate a lot of challenges, and Clark was no exception. Early in her stint with Indiana, Clark faced some rough patches that seemed to affirm Tarasi's prediction. However, Tarasi didn't stop there. She stirred the pot further during the Final Four by stating she would choose UConn stage Paige Beckers over Clark in the draft. But despite being a 10-time All-WNBA First Team member and a respected voice in basketball, her words placed her among several critics who doubted Clark's ability to live up to the enormous expectations set for her as she entered the league. But Caitlin Clark was about to respond in a way that only the truly great can. Beyond the statistics and accolades, there's something almost intangible about witnessing CeCe's brilliance firsthand. Like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Shohei Atani, and Patrick Mahomes, Clark possesses that indescribable it factor, something you have to see to believe. After conquering college basketball with Iowa and rapidly adjusting to the professional stage with the fever, her impact is undeniable. And now, the stage was set in Phoenix. Fans donned in Clark jerseys, some traveling from Iowa, others from Indiana, poured into the footprint center, filling the air with anticipation. The crowd, swelling to over 17,000, wasn't just there for a regular season matchup, they were there for Caitlin Clark. The scoreboard might have read Fever vs. Mercury, but everyone knew the real headline, Caitlin Clark vs. Diana Taurasi. This wasn't just a matchup between two teams with lukewarm records, it was a clash of titans. On one side, Taurasi, one of the greatest to have ever graced a WNBA court. On the other, Clark, the potential heir to that throne. The stage was set, not just for a game, but for a showdown that could redefine legacies. Basketball, while a team sport, thrives on these individual battles, and this game was a testament to that very fact. Here was Clark, poised and ready, not just to compete with Tarasi, but to challenge the very narrative that had preceded her rookie season. And before stepping onto the court for what was set to be a memorable showdown, Clark expressed profound respect for Tarasi. I just admired the way she played the game and the fire that she played with. And um, like I said yesterday, like it's impressive that she's still able to play this game at such a high level and produce like the way she does. Like it's it's incredible. I think she she's obviously the best scorer our game has ever seen and one of the best players our game has ever seen. But admiration was soon to meet competition. What unfolded on the court that day was something even Tarasi hadn't anticipated. The game started with Phoenix seizing the momentum. They won the opening tip-off and quickly surged to an eight-point lead. It seemed as if the veteran was setting the tone early. Tarasi composed, drove past Wallace to push their lead to eight. 8-0 run for the Mercury. And they keep on attacking. Cloud drives as she finds Tarasi at the corner. She drives in aggressively and sinks the layup to give the Mercury a 10-2 lead. And Clark appeared to struggle initially, dealing with turnovers and finding little space to maneuver, both on and off the ball. With her struggling, Mercury took full advantage. Tarasi and Griner dominated with a pick and roll, as Griner sank the pull-up, pushing their lead to 14-2 just four minutes into the game. However, the tides began to turn as the first quarter progressed. Finding her rhythm, Clark showcased why she is a force. After receiving a solid screen from Boston at midcourt, she launched a deep three from the logo, a clean swish. Just like that, the deficit was cut to eight points. And Clark kept up the heat. She shook Allen slickly, but her three-pointer just missed the mark, airballing it. Nearly a crazy highlight play. Clark and Boston are starting to gel together, and it was showing. On a fast break, Clark executed a precise pass to a cutting Boston, who drove downhill for an emphatic layup. 
As the second quarter commenced, Clark and Boston's synergy was unmistakable. Boston set a solid screen, rolled to the basket, and Clark, with pinpoint accuracy, delivered a bounce pass that Boston converted effortlessly. And even facing tough defense from Cunningham, Clark managed to aggressively drive to the basket as she got the layup and sunk one. However, Tarasi responded with a catch-and-shoot three-pointer after shaking free from an off-ball screen, extending the Mercury's lead once more. Heading into halftime, Phoenix held an 11-point advantage at 49-38 and they even pushed their lead further early in the third quarter. But Clark wasn't ready to let go. She drives aggressively through the Mercury defense for another layup, cutting the lead back down. Moments later, a brilliant find from Clark to Kelsey Mitchell in the corner for a three-pointer brought the lead down to single digits. With the score at 53-45 and just over six minutes remaining in the third quarter, Clark shifted into another gear. She charged up the court and without a moment's hesitation, launched a deep shot from the logo. The audacity of this Venom is outrageous. The momentum was now unmistakably with the fever, and Clark was orchestrating every move with masterful precision. She found Wallace with a backdoor cut, slicing the Mercury's lead to just five points. CC showcased her vision with a long pass to a driving Ali of Boston, bringing the fever within a single point of Phoenix. Clark was now fully leading the comeback. In full command, she directed traffic on the court, and this set Kelsey Mitchell up for a critical three-pointer, giving the fever their first lead of the day. Not stopping there, she executed a brilliant show-and-go, feeding Mitchell once again for another three-pointer, pushing the fever ahead to 60-55. Clark remained composed. She cleverly found Timmy Fagbinley, who capitalized on the opening to sink a two-pointer, capping a staggering 17-0 run that put Indiana ahead by 10 points. Tarasi, feeling the urgency, halted Indiana's run with a timely three-pointer after Natasha Cloud missed a crucial free throw. The third quarter ended with Phoenix narrowing the gap to just three points, setting the stage for a nail-biting finale. As the fourth quarter unfolded, the Phoenix Mercury came out with renewed aggression. Kalia Copper spearheaded an aggressive 8-0 run with a decisive baseline drive, pushing their lead to seven points. However, the Fever were not yet ready to fold. With just three minutes remaining and trailing by seven, Clark considered a long-range three from the logo, but instead opted for a strategic assist to Katie Lou Samuelson, who nailed a critical three-pointer, slicing the Mercury's lead to just four. The defense tightened around Clark, with Sophie Cunningham giving her no room to maneuver. But her determination shone through, as she aggressively drove and found Aaliyah Boston in the corner for another three, cutting the lead down to a mere three points. Kelsey Mitchell then drew a foul on a jumper and converted and sunk one, bringing the fever back into the lead at 81-80, and Clark, demonstrating leadership, took a moment to rally her teammates. Mitchell didn't stop there, though. She extended the lead with an elbow jumper, putting the fever ahead once more. In a thrilling finish, the Indiana Fever clinched the victory with an 88-82 scoreline, and Caitlin Clark narrowly missed out on a triple-double. The game was a roller coaster of emotions and momentum, with six lead changes and four ties painting the narrative of a fiercely contested battle. The Mercury initially took command, leading by as much as 15 points in the first half, but the Fever clawed back, gaining a 10-point lead in the third quarter thanks to an energized comeback. Tarasi put up 19 points, but the night belonged to Caitlin Clark who, despite shooting just 4 for 14, made a big impact on the game. Her playmaking was on full display with 12 assists, and she was a force on the glass with 9 rebounds. Remarkably, she did all this while playing nearly the full 40 minutes and battling an illness. And after the thrilling conclusion, even Tarasi couldn't help but acknowledge Caitlin Clark's standout performance. The one thing that I really love about her is she loves the game. Um, you can tell she's put the work in. Um, and even, you know, throughout you know, her short WNBA career. Uh, it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of things thrown at her, and, uh, you know, she keeps showing up and keeps getting better every single game. So um, her future is, is super bright. And indeed, pressure has been a constant companion for Clark, but she handles it with the poise of a veteran. Clark, only 22, carries herself with the poise and maturity of a seasoned professional, handling the spotlight with ease. When faced with adversities, whether being knocked down during a game or facing exclusion from the U.S. Olympic team, her responses highlight her resilience and focus. Basketball's competitive, she stated simply after a tough on-court encounter. And regarding the Olympic snub, just gives you something to work for, she declared, turning each setback into a stepping stone for future success. This blend of skill, maturity, and a never-say-die attitude not only defines Clark's approach to basketball, but also marks her as a standout athlete, ready to face and overcome any challenge. 
Diana Taurasi, at 42, may have two decades of experience over Caitlin Clark, but the gap in their legacies could narrow sooner than many expect. While Clark's shooting ability captures headlines, it's her visionary playmaking that truly sets her apart. Her slip passes, precise bounce passes, and long leads command the court in ways that often catch even her teammates by surprise, leading to an average of 5.5 turnovers per game. No, 5.5 turnovers a game isn't truly acceptable, but Clark is only a rookie and will improve as she gets more experience. However, Clark is not just participating in the WNBA, she is electrifying it. Building upon the foundation laid by legends like Taurasi, Tamika Catchings, Cynthia Cooper, and Maya Moore, she brings a caliber of shooting the women's game has rarely seen. Poised to influence the next generation much like Stephen Curry has revolutionized long-range shooting in the men's game, and adding to her Clark admiration, Taurasi said, Her future is super bright and, uh, you know, being a veteran and being in this league for a long, long time, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to see that and, you know, going into the future. As Tarasi once dominated the game, it's clear that Clark is next in line, ready to inspire a new era in women's basketball. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to catch more stories about the incredible athletes reshaping sports today, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest videos.